My name is Fluke, and I have come from a distant land to destroy you, for I am the elite. I am Innova. I come from the land of Amazon, and I shall not fight you, for I know I am a better value than you. How dare you, you peon? I am Fluke the Ultimate. But why are you the Ultimate? Well, we shall find out. So why is Fluke considered to be the best? Well, when I was working in Army Aviation as an electrician, right, Fluke was what we all had, and it's the standard. And pretty much, in my opinion, they have a long history of providing very accurate and calibrated uh, multimeters, very rugged, and they just been known to be the industry standard as far as what they provide. But don't count out the Amazon one because at the end of the day, when I open up the drawer, nine out of 10 times, I'm picking up this bad boy. And the reason why for daily home life, this is everything that you would ever want. And as far as like car life, this is also everything you'd want. So really you don't need a fluke. Who would need a fluke? Well, if you're a professional, like if you're a professional, let's say electrician or AC HVAC guy or an avionics guy. And essentially, to be honest with you, this multimeter was 175 bucks. This was 30 bucks. And this is an entry level fluke. So even as a professional, you'd be spending about six, seven, eight hundred dollars. And the reason why is because they offer a little bit more features and they're a little bit more accurate. And if you remember math, which math isn't my best subject either, or I'm not saying either like you guys aren't any good at math, but I'm assuming, right? So let's test this battery. What I love about the Amazon one is it gives you a little section here to test batteries. I love it because they know their audience. You know, you're not gonna be a, you know, an F-22 Raptor avionics guy with your Amazon multimeter, but this thing could do everything under the sun still. It's just not gonna be accurate to a certain degree that you need it to be with certain electronics. So a good example, is this multimeter says that this battery, this AA battery is at 1.755 uh, volts. So when we put our Fluke on there, we're gonna go ahead and see we're at 1.759. So if you see, we have an extra 0.4 of, uh, of <laughs> actually point. 0.4 of volts. I let's just say decimal number two over. What's that? Tenths, hundreds, thousands. So see, you really don't need to uh, at least help me out. By the way, in the back of the camera. <laughs> so you, you know that is the best example of why a professional is going to seek a different type of multimeter like the Fluke is because you need to be able to get those ranges. A good example is tolerances and tolerances is a big deal and, and specifications is a big deal with electronics. So hypothetically you have this battery, right? And let's see on it, it says it's supposed to be a double A and a double A is, uh, let's see, 1.5 volts, right? So the tolerance in this would probably be 1.5 volts plus or minus one volts, right? Well, in certain uh, electronics, the plus and minus is like between thousands or hundreds of volts or resistance. And essentially you need a multimeter that could capture that, an electronic device that could capture that. Now here's the crazy part, guys. This is an entry level fluke at $175. So like if you brought this to like the workplace and you're an electrician, everybody would be like, get out of here. You can't sit with us. So essentially you have to spend about five times that amount to even get a reputable one that people would let you hang out with them as far as your fellow industry people. And simply what it does, it just has a little bit more features, but this Amazon one does everything you could imagine for a normal person and for an automotive person, DIY guy. Like it does continuity. Look, it gives you that beep. Oh, let's see, I was wrong one here. I'm getting mixed up. Beep, 
you know, it, you know, you've got some diode testers, you got resistance, AC, they do that nice fancy little uh, battery chest and they have like a fuse section. That one doesn't have it. Oh, 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 oh. And, uh, but the crazy part about it is Fluke starts offering some really important features that you need um, as a, you know, as a, a professional. So a good one is, let me go ahead and see if I could do it this time. So minimum max, right? Essentially what we're gonna do, if I could do this correctly, because I always mess this up here, is, let's see, gave me an overload rating, probably because I'm in millivolts. Let's see, there you go. So let's do minimum max. All right, so what it does, right? Look at that. So what it did, it recorded the 1.759 as the max, but it will always give you, it will also give you the minimum. Boop. So the minimum was negative 0.088 thousandths. Yeah, right, okay, cool. And then the range here, I've got to clear this out, but like I said, this has a lot of features that the normal person won't need. And this is also, you have a range function, you have um, a hold function where you could hold it, and then this is a cool part right here that you guys will be blown away. Are you ready? It's got a light. <laughs> and uh, so that, I mean, it's got a pretty cool fancy light. And this is the entry level one, but as you get more intense with flukes, they get crazier. So don't, don't get suckered into buying the fluke if you're not a professional. Literally, like, and what I mean by professional, like a true uh, electrician or avionics guy, like even if you're an auto guy or even uh, any, any, pretty much anything home stuff, this is gonna work well. And not only that, if you're dealing with home, elect like if you're doing with computer work, you're not even using multimeter, you're using scopes, you're using really different types of level of stuff that takes measurements. And if you are using multimeter, it's worth in the thousands sometime range if you're dealing with computers. So at the end of the day, guys, this thing is amazing. I've had this for about a year or two and I used it for everything, guys. I even bought one for someone else because I recommend it that much. So like with everything else, guys, there's gonna be an Amazon affiliated link. If you wanna buy a $30 multimeter that is amazing and it does everything and that I choose over my fluke because it's just simple and easy to use then go for it 30 bucks you can't beat it and you could have this in your drawer and you'd be good and if you want to learn how to use a multimeter go check out our series of how to use a multimeter we have all kinds of videos in there to show you how to use a multimeter as a beginner all the way to like a pro all right guys well thanks for watching you guys take care and we will see you soon